Hey there guys, welcome to the video. My name is Pushpinder Gill. Now in this video, we're going to be talking about uh, the distance between two parallel lines. Right, so we're going to be talking about what is the distance between two parallel lines. Okay, so let's get started. So we're going to have, a, a, you know, our y axis here and we're going to have our x axis here. Let's suppose we have two parallel lines, you know, let's suppose that uh, this is one line and there is another line. And since these two lines are parallel, the distance between them, the perpendicular distance between them is always going to be the same. Which means I can even say that the distance from here till here is what would be the distance from any given point to any given point. I'm talking about the perpendicular distance. So let's suppose we have these two lines and this is line 1 and this is line 2. And the equation of line 1 is uh, y is equal to uh, since these two lines are parallel to each other, their slopes are going to be same. So the first line, let's suppose, is y is equal to mx plus c1. And the second line is, let's suppose, that is equal to y is equal to mx plus c2. Right? So this is the first line and this is the second line. Since they are parallel to each other, their slopes are going to be same. So what about this point here on line 1? That is actually the y-intercept. Uh, sorry, this that is actually the x-intercept of this line over here. That is the value of x when y is equal to 0. So you just substitute y equal to 0 in this point. So it's going to be 0 plus m into x plus c1, which means from here I'm going to get the value of c1 to actually be equal to... Uh, so the value of x, I'm just not interested in the value of c1, the value of x is going to be equal to negative c1 by m. So this point over here, it's uh, the, the x coordinate is negative c1 over m and the y coordinate is 0. And we're actually interested in finding this distance d, that is the distance of this point to this point line over here. Now if you've seen the previous video in which we talked about distance from a point to uh, distance from a point uh, of a point to uh, a line, right? So let's suppose, let me just write down that expression here. So let's suppose we have a point called x1 comma y1 and we actually want to find the distance of this point to a line ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. So we want to find the distance of this point to this line. So that distance would actually be given as uh, ax1 plus by1 plus c, the modulus of it, under root divided by under root of a square plus b square. So this is something that we actually found out in our previous video. Now if we kind of substitute that in this uh, expression over here that is the distance of this point that is minus c1 by m comma 0 all the way till this line over here which is uh, this line is line 2 which is the equation of this line is this uh, if I kind of bring this equation in this format here uh, the equation of this line is going to be equal to minus y uh, plus mx uh, plus c2 is equal to 0 right so uh, in this case this is the value of a negative 1 is the value of b and c2 is the value of c. So if you kind of substitute there, we're going to have the distance to be equal to uh, minus c1 by m into the, the value of a which is actually equal to m uh, since uh, into this m over here, uh, then this is a modulus function plus b into y1. So what is the value of b? b is actually equal to minus 1. So we're going to have minus 1 into 0, which is going to be 0, plus uh, c. So what is the value of c? So the value of c is actually equal to c2. Uh, this is actually divided by under root a square plus b square. So what is a square plus b square? That is equal to 1 plus m square. So if you kind of open this bracket up, if you, if you kind of uh, open this bracket up, what we're going to have, this m and m will actually get cut out. I'm going to have modulus of c2 minus c1 divided by under root of 1 plus m square. So, so that kind of, uh, you know, boils this up to this expression here. So, you know, uh, if we have two lines, let's suppose y is equal to mx plus c1 and another line as y is equal to mx plus c2 and we want to find the distance between these two lines. The distance between these two lines would be given as modulus of c1 minus c2 or you can even say modulus of c2 minus c1 hardly matters. 
divided by under root 1 plus m square. So, you know, that is what we have here, right? So, this is the distance between any two parallel lines. Very important expression. So, uh, I suppose you are understanding this point over here, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.